we left off in the last video, or actually the one before that, um, after we tweaked the menus, and now we're going to tweak just a couple of things in the settings that um, you probably do want to do before you get too far down the road. Um, so you find settings right here over settings and you see all, whoops, all of these things. Um, first one we're going to potentially tweak is privacy. So if you're blogging already and you don't mind whoever reading it, again, probably you really have to work these days to get people to your blog and to get them to pay attention. So if you leave it public, it's probably fine. You're not going to get a whole bunch of traffic, but if you really do want to lock down your writing until you're ready so that only you can read it um, when you're logged in, this is where you do it. We're going to reading settings. We're not going to mess with any of this other stuff um, that you see. We're going to go to site visibility. And um, right here, if you need it private, you can tick this one. I would like my site to be private, visible only to myself and users I choose. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have to log in to, uh, you know, to, to test this. Um, but the other thing you can do is discourage search engines from indexing this site. So you can still get to it pretty easily, but your pages aren't going to be out there in Google. So once you tick that box, go ahead and scroll down and click save changes. So that's your privacy. And then the other thing that, um, the next one that you need to set up is your site title. Um, this site title should be pretty short and snappy. And if it is not the, um, the name of your main topic that you gave, um, that you put for your site when you did your, your napkin trick, uh, is going to be a, something that encapsulates that short and snappy. So I think what we said for ours is fearlessly venturing or something like that. So uh, I'll just put that. And then tagline, um, this does not show up everywhere, but it shows up in enough places that you need to change it. Um, sometimes it, it just all depends on your theme. Um, so, this is kind of, well, you know what a tagline is, I guess. We're not going to get too deeply into that, but um, just some short and snappy thing that says what your, your site's about. Don't make it long. Um, you know, we are fearlessly venturing on the internet. That is not the worst. I don't know what is. And you can change all of this stuff. No big deal. I'm not going to do it right now and save the change. Now, the other thing that we need to do, um, that's a good idea. This is not going to like make or break anything if you don't do it is change your default post category. You might remember in the other video that um, we changed the built-in default thing that says uncategorized, the uncategorized category, which is ridiculous because uncategorized is a category, so therefore it is categorized. But anyway, so we change that to blog. Um, so change this to whatever you want your, your um, posts to go into if you don't do anything else. Every time you write a post, you're going to be able to pick the category. So this isn't that big of a deal, but I find like it doesn't even matter how long I have been blogging. I always, you know, every 10th post or whatever, I'll forget. So if it goes into a default category, then you're just all set and don't forget to save that change. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. And that's like really the, all you need to do to just get started. Um, the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about themes because you might want to change it. And I know how tempting that is to like go down the, the theme design rabbit hole and start playing around with it. So I will cover it, but just know that you can blog like right now. You're good to go.